Hello, and welcome to the Triforce Shrine. I'm going to talk about the Triforce pieces today. Um, or right now, rather. Because you could watch multiple videos in one day. Whoa! Anyway, <laughs> this is the Triforce piece video, and I'm going to split it up into two parts. It'll be one video. Um, there's two sets of Triforce pieces. Um, and it's not really a secret, but I don't want to give anything away. Greetings! And... Hi. Welcome to another Relics of Hyrule video guide. Video. This is the Triforce Peace video. Um, sort of some overlap with the uh, Tarnished Shard video. Just a little. Um, I will be covering the Triforce of Courage, the Triforce of Wisdom, and the Triforce of Power in the first half of this video. Um, there will be little bits and pieces that imply that there are other things. Uh, if you don't want any spoilers, um, then, you know, stop watching. <laughs> uh, but they're not really secrets, the other things. Uh, I don't want to be too... Uh, I don't want to give too much away. So if you don't want spoilers, then watch out. This video has spoilers. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, to Triforce pieces, to, to reform them, you need 8 Tarnished Shards. Total of 24 Tarnished Shards to reform all 3. Um, one of them is Courage, one of them is Wisdom, one of them is Power. I don't know which ones are which. I believe this is Courage, this is Power, and this is Wisdom. It doesn't matter, and the I... There's a reason why they all look the same. I didn't want to make it obvious which ones are which. So if you wanted to go for one type, you'd have to follow the clues. Um, uh, Lens of Truth video, Tarnished Shard video, they go over uh, a little more in detail. Um, so I'm going to overlap a little with the Tarnished Shard video right now. I'm going to start with the Triforce of Courage. Let's try, yeah, Triforce of Courage. So let's start with uh, Farrar. So you need to go up to a statue, a uh, golden goddess statue, either here in the Triforce Shrine or in Kakariko Chapel. And as long as you have eight tarnished shards of one type, um, you'll know they're of the same type if they stack. Then you can activate the statue. You'll see that bright explosion. Um, and it'll say up there you added Triforce of Courage twice because it adds this, the actual ability, the Triforce of Courage, as well as the physical Triforce of Courage. Now, the physical Triforce of Courage, you can drop it, which is not a good idea, because you need it. Um, you need that for this. Um, I'm, I've been trying really hard to make it so that you can't drop things like that, but I just cannot figure it out. Um, uh, whatever. Um, anyway, so there's the Triforce Courage. Now, what does the Triforce of Courage do? I hear you shout at the screen, and maybe, probably not. Well, it fortifies your block skill. Um, it fortifies uh, the progression of light armor, heavy armor, one-handed, two-handed, archery, sneak, smithing, and block skill. So blocking is more effective, and your block skill will progress faster, as well as other things. Um, here's some more detail on that. This is the Relics of Hyrule wiki, and here's the Triforce of Courage um, entry. Fortifies your block by 50%, and light armor, heavy armor, one-handed, two-handed, sneak, archery, smithing, block, all those skills progress 20% faster. Something else the Triforce of Courage can do is, instead of using Pharaoh's Gale at the Skyforge, to make Pharaoh's Blessing, you can just have the Triforce of Courage, and you can do it at an Ancient Enchanter. Um, so that simplifies that recipe. It also simplifies the Master Sword Awakening process. Uh, so if you have the Triforce of Courage, then you can just awaken the Master Sword. Um, if you have the Triforce of Courage and the Triforce of Wisdom, then you can truly awaken the Master Sword. And if you have the Triforce of Courage and the 
Triforce of Emotion, more on that later, then you can also truly awaken the Master Sword, but in a different way. Um, I'll probably talk, this one we'll talk about it with the Triforce of Wisdom, and the Triforce of Emotion we'll talk about the other kind. Um, Triforce of Courage can also be used to purify the deep corrupt Master Sword, which cannot be done without the Triforce pieces and you need the Triforce of Wisdom and the Triforce of Knowledge. So these two, Triforce of Courage, I mean Triforce of Emotion and Triforce of Knowledge, I'll talk more about those later. They are not canon, um, and I'll talk more about those later. Uh, so that's the Triforce of Courage, and you get that by activating a statue of Feror, either here or the Kakariko Chapel, with eight Tarnished Shards in your inventory. Um, and if it doesn't work, you do not have the courage or emotion to pray to Feror. It will not work. It'll tell you that you don't have enough pieces. So if you have eight Tarnished Shards and you activate the statue, nothing happens. That means you have eight of something else, like Triforce of Wisdom. So let's get the Triforce of Wisdom from uh, Nehru here. Something's wrong with Nehru's mouth. <laughs> oh well. A nice thing. There you go. Triforce of Wisdom. Triforce of Wisdom. And the Triforce of Wisdom gives you a fortification of skill progression, restoration, destruction, conjuration, alteration, illusion, enchanting, alchemy, and speechcraft. So pretty much all of your uh, magic skills and um, some, uh, I guess smarty pants skill, speechcraft, and alchemy. Um, and those all progress 20% faster. Let's have a little more detail from the wiki. Triforce of Wisdom. Um, something else the Triforce of Wisdom does is it makes Ocarina songs more potent. Uh, for instance, the example we have here, the ha Song of Healing will fortify your health regeneration by 100%. But with the Triforce of Wisdom, it will fortify it by 250%. So instead of healing twice as fast, you heal like three times as fast. Or three and a half, two and a half. You heal faster with the Song of Healing active. Um, as well as the Triforce of Wisdom. And it's not just the Song of Healing. Um, I will go over this in the Ocarina Song video. Of the, I'll have to re update the Ocarina Song video. But pretty much every song has something added to it. Uh, for instance, the Minuet of Forest. Um, fortifies your disease and poison resistance by 100%. With the Triforce of Wisdom, it fortifies it by 200. Now, let's talk about the Triforce of Power. So here's the Statue of Din. I'm going to do third person this time. Boom. So, Triforce of Power... Construction, Conjuration, Heavy Armor, One-Handed, Two-Handed, Block skills all progress faster, so it sort of stacks with the, uh, some aspects of Triforce of Courage. Unarmed Strikes are stronger. Uh, damage Resistance is increased. Um, and the thing that sort of makes it more, you know, there it is. Uh, Unarmed Damage. Um, the Resist Damage. Let's see the details here. The Triforce of Power. Damage resistance of 33%, so it resists 33% damage. Uh, unarmed is fortified by 25%, and also reduces Stagger, which isn't mentioned in the uh, description, but Stagger is reduced by 30%, and Destruction, Heavy Armor, Block, Conjuration, One-Handed, Two-Handed, they all progress faster by 30%. Um, so the Triforce of Power is very powerful. Um, <laughs> hence the name Triforce of Power. And like the other two, it can be used to make Din's Blessing at an Ancient Enchanter. Um, you don't need to be at the Ethereum Forge. Now, the Triforce of Power, it makes the Corruption of the Master Sword easier. So if you have the Triforce of Power and that's it. You can corrupt the Master Sword like that. And if you have the Triforce of Willpower, 
which I'll talk about later. Then you can deeply corrupt the Master Sword. Um, you can also, ha if you have the Triforce of Power and the Triforce of Willpower, then you can uh, remove or return the Soul Trap effect from the Deep Corrupt, deep corrupt Master Sword, which you can't do without them. Um, so the Triforce of Power, mostly what it does is it uh, makes your character really strong. <laughs> so, we have all three of those. Um, and now that we have all three, um, we can reform the Triforce. So, what you, the way you do that is, and I recommend sort of standing back. I might make this a little different because it's kind of silly to look down and then you look back up. Um, I might try to put a font or something in here so that you can, or, I don't know. I think this, it's fine the way it is, so I'm not going to bother. Um, but yeah, so you activate the Triforce Circle, and if you don't have the physical pieces, then it probably won't work. Yeah, God says search for pieces you carry, and nothing happens. So you have to carry all three pieces. It'll give you the same message, but you can see up in the upper left there, wisdom, courage, and power will all were all are removed. They were all removed, and I'm gonna hit OK. And once you hit OK, the Triforce appears like that. I'll talk more about the Triforce in the Triforce video, <laughs> um, but basically you can wish to the Triforce, and it floats here. You can't move it. It also apparently doesn't have a collision box, which I need to fix. Um, but yeah, you can wish to it, and it's divided into three categories. Courage or willpower, wisdom or emotion, power or knowledge. Um, mostly because of the, th not the theme of the Triforce piece itself, but of the uh, wishes. So, um, the first one, courage or willpower. Um, has to do with that. So I'll just show you the different wishes that you can have. Wisdom of the goddesses, manifest my this grief, power or knowledge, power to crush my envy. Um, so yeah, the tri uh, power, um, I'll talk about those. Uh, the power or knowledge section is obviously like the most powerful because you can just master a skill. Um, this character has 16 conjuration. That would be ridiculous. Anyway, um, now then, we've reformed the Triforce, but what about the, tri what about all this, yeah, so what about all this willpower, emotion, and knowledge stuff? Like, what, what is that? What is that? Um, well, there are the charred fragments. Um, and those are like the Tarnished Shards. In that you need to collect eight of them. And there are three types. So you need to collect a total of 24 Charred Fragments. And you may have an inkling of where I'm going with this. So I have eight charred fragments. There they are. They are black, is the ace of spades. And they stack in three different ways. And there's eight of them. So let's see what happens. Here's the Triforce. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do Feror first. No, let's do Nehru first. Let's do Nehru first. So I have eight charred fragments, and I'm going to interact with the statue of Nehru, see what happens. Triforce of Knowledge is what happens. So the Triforce of Knowledge, this is not canon whatsoever. Um, the Triforce of Knowledge, alchemy, enchanting, smithing, lockpicking, magicka uh, are all fortified, and critical hits will occur more often. Um, and here's the physical Triforce of Knowledge. Yup! 
That's all you need to know. <laughs> if you don't get it yet, please look up A Link Between Worlds, and then you will know exactly where I'm going with this. Um, so that's Triforce of Knowledge. Let's see a little more information about the Triforce of Knowledge. So the Triforce of Knowledge is probably one of the most powerful, um, one of the most useful uh, Triforce pieces in the game. Um, as we said earlier, um, you can purify the Deep Corrupt Master Sword if you have the Triforce of Courage and the Triforce of Wisdom. Um, if you have the Triforce of Knowledge and you activate the Light of Knowledge with the Lens of Truth, then it eliminates the need of the Mask of Truth to mark the locations of the Tarnished Shards on your map. And by that I mean, for instance, if there's a Tarnished Shard in um, Hina Langdonzel, which there is, then it, it will uh, mark Kina Langdonzel on your map when the Light of Knowledge tells you about Kina Langdonzel. Um, you can also use the Triforce of Knowledge to craft Nehru's Blessing, just like the Triforce of uh, uh, Wisdom, um, and that's because I've the Triforce of Knowledge and the Triforce of Wisdom are both part of Nehru's sort of circle. Now, uh, Magicka Regeneration is fortified by 50%, and then all of your skills are, all these skills are also fortified by 50%. And your critical hit ratio is, um, better? I, it's just, it's just, just bitter. It's just more. And something else that's not listed is that all of your skills will progress 15% faster. Now, one thing that the Triforce of Knowledge does is that most recipes, most of the recipes in Relics of Hyrule um, will now be known to you. So for instance, I have the Triforce of Knowledge now. Here's an Ancient Enchanter. Normally, you would need like you would need the white circlet in order to know how to make the blue ring circlet. Um, you'd need uh, there are conditions for all of these to appear. They normally don't just appear in the smithing menu. You need to have something to know. Um, the Triforce of Knowledge just you know because it's a Triforce of Knowledge. So all these recipes, I know what's needed for them. Um, I don't need to just gather things, and I don't need to uh, have the right things in my inventory in order to actually know what the recipes are. Um, and that that makes it a lot simpler. Well, it doesn't really make it a lot simpler. It just it gives you knowledge, and that's it. Um, it also, in some ways, some recipes use ancient knowledge, the ancient knowledge thing from unfathomable depth. Um, and, uh, the Triforce of Knowledge eliminates the need for that, for those recipes. I wonder if it does anything on that alteration. No, no it doesn't. Well, sort of. Anyway. Oh, I wonder if that... I'll have to check on that. Anyway. So that's the Triforce of Knowledge. Let's see what happens with the Triforce of... Willpower. Which is over here. Group. Triforce of Willpower. Let's see what the Triforce of Willpower does. Block Alteration Conjuration, which is misspelled in there. Health Regeneration are all fortified. Probably by 50%. Paralysis is less effective, and Magic is resisted. So there's Magic Resistance. Let's check. Let's see. Triforce of Willpower. Heal Rate is fortified by 35%. Heal Rate in Combat is fortified by 20%. Magic resistance, 40%. Poison resistance, 50%. Alteration, block, and conjuration are all fortified by um, 50%. And paralysis is reduced by 30%. Um, and by that, I mean paralysis, incoming paralysis. So if you're about to be par paralyzed by a redead, there is a 30% chance that you will be okay. Um, or it'll lower the, um, level 
of the paralysis spell to the point that there's a higher chance that you'll resist it. Um, also, just like the Triforce of Power, you can use uh, use it to make Din's Blessing anywhere. And as we mentioned earlier, the Triforce of Power with the Triforce of Power, you can do stuff with the Triforce of the, with the um, deep corrupt deep corrupt Master Sword. Um, so the Triforce of Willpower is definitely useful. Um, it does a lot of fortification here, but it's not quite as useful as, say, the Triforce of Knowledge or the Triforce of Emotion. Now, the Triforce of Emotion is unique. So I'm going to get the Triforce of Emotion. Triforce of Emotion is very unique because... I'm going to do the this thing again. So that's what that looks like. Now, Triforce of Emotion also adds some other spells. It adds Hylia's Contract and Hylia's Depression. So you get the Triforce of Emotion, but you also get two bonus spells. Uh, Triforce of Emotion, Speechcraft, Illusion, Destruction, Restoration, and Stamina Regeneration are all fortified by 50%. Um, you can uh, use Triforce of Emotion instead of Ferrar's Gale to make Ferrar's Blessing. Um, and in crafting, you can truly awaken the Master Sword um, with the Triforce of Courage. And the Triforce of Wisdom. That's not listed here, but it should say Triforce of Wisdom. Now, if you have that, then... So if you use the Triforce of Wisdom and the Triforce of Emotion, then you'll have a golden-hilted True Master Sword. If you use the Triforce of Courage and the Triforce of Wisdom, then you'll have a purple hilt. So I think I can show that over here on the Ancient Enchanter. Master Sword... oh, they're not here. So the Truly Awake, True Master Sword isn't in here, but, um... If you look up the True Master Sword, there's the Golden Hilt True Master Sword, and then there's the Purple Hilt True Master Sword. And the reason for that is the the Purple Hilt is from the Hyrule Triforce, and the Golden Hilt is from the Low Rule Triforce. So I just spilled the beans there. Hylia's Contract, Hylia's Depression, um, these are two sort of bonus spells. Hylia's Contract can convert rupees into coins. Um, and I think I'll talk more about them with the... Uh, Hylia Spells video. Um, Hylia's Depression... I'll just sort of run over what they do. Basically, Hylia's Contract, it, it converts every rupee in your inventory to gold. So, here's a rupee. Blue rupee. That would give me 50 gold. Uh, so it's sort of a one-to-one -one as opposed to what it does normally. Um, like if you sell a rupee to a, a vendor. Hylia's Depression looks like it's really useless. For 15 seconds, uh, your movement and, ti and time is slowed. Your stamina and magicka are reduced. Um, you don't do as much damage, but you don't get as much damage. Um, you don't get damage as much, and your magic resistance is ridiculous. Um, so it seems it's a little bit of it's a little balance balancing act. Um, I'll talk more about those when I talk about the uh, Hylia spells. Now then, we have all four, uh, all three pieces here: Triforce of Emotion, Triforce of Power, Triforce of uh, Triforce of Willpower, Triforce of Knowledge. So I'm gonna activate the Triforce Circle. Goddess is search for pieces I carry, and you can see those three pieces are removed, and there it is. 
This has not been a secret, but I don't think anyone, very few people have actually said anything about it. But I have added Low Rules Triforce. This has been in the mod since 6.0, and it's been planned for a while. Um, you saw that um, one of the Triforce, the, one of the uh, charred fragments has a different uh, ID from the other two. Same with the Tarnished Shard. Tarnished Shards were... Um, the first Tarnished Shard was added with Kino Langdon Zell. So the Triforce was planned for that long. And the Triforce, uh, the, the, the Low Rules Triforce, as I like to call it, the Lolian Triforce, um, the Black Triforce, was planned for a really long time, since the first Charred Fragment was added. Um, so they've both been planned for a long time. And the Lolian Triforce gives you the same wishes. So basically, you get two wishes with those. And I'm real. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Um, the Triforce pieces and the Triforce actual Triforces themselves were made by the same guy who made the. Um, uh, I don't have the lens of truth. The lens of truth. Um, Zelda's sword over here. Let's see if I can find Zelda's sword. There's Zelda's sword. Zelda's sword was made by the same guy. He's done a lot of great work for the mod. Um, he made the Triforces. Um, they turn out really well. Um, I think that's it for the Triforce piece video. Basically, you need the six pieces to make the two Triforces. And with the two Triforces, you get two wishes. And I'm going to talk more about those later on um, in another video. I wanted to mention at the end of this video why I named uh, the Lolian Triforce pieces like this. Triforce of Knowledge, Triforce of Emotion, Triforce of Willpower. Uh, it's not Zelda canon at all. There's no Zelda canon in it. Um, there's no naming convention for the low rule Triforce pieces. There's no nobody knows what this piece is called, what that piece is called, what that piece is called. You could argue that that's power, that's power, that's wisdom, that's wisdom, that's courage, that's courage. But I don't think that's true, because low rule is just different enough. Um, they destroyed their Triforce and try instead of trying to hide it, and Hilda is acting out of just desperation um, so I chose to make a, sort of a non-canon um, Relics of Hyrule canon sort of version of those uh, Triforce pieces and when I was trying to figure out what to call them um, the, tri the Lolian Triforce has been planned for a long time um, the charred fragments have actually been in the mod for a pretty long time not as long as the Tarnished Shards, which have been in since Kino Langdenzel. Um, but the Char Fragment, the Lolian Triforce, when I started planning 6.0, I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to add the Low Rules Triforce. I wanted to add the Triforce since the beginning, but I didn't have a good model, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I very slowly figured it out. Um, and this is the result, and I'm really happy with how the Triforce has turned out. Um, the wish system works really well. Um, I wanted it to be limited um, and balanced to Skyrim because if I let the player do anything, I would have had to program that, and that's just silly. So I just decided to make it uh, a little more balanced. And it is the goal of the mod to recompose the Triforce, um, both Triforces. And you don't have to wish on them if you don't want, but, you know. Anyway. The reason why I chose Emotion, Willpower, and Knowledge are the Low Rule Triforce pieces. Um, and those came about when I was like, okay, what am I going to call, what colors would be associated with them? So I inverted the colors for the Hylian Triforce, and it was uh, red, green, and blue went to um, Cyan, uh, Magenta, and Yellow. And I'm like, 
Cyan, magenta, and yellow. Wait a second, wait a second. I remembered the Lake Guardians from uh, Pokemon. Um, and Pokemon Generation 4 was the generation that brought me back into Pokemon. Um, I played Pokemon a lot as a kid. Um, I loved Generation 1 and 2, but then I sort of lost track of it and went back to Generation 3 a little late. Wasn't really impressed with Generation 3, so I lost it a little again. And But then Diamond and Pearl came out, and I'm like, well, let's give it another try. So I bought Diamond, and Generation 4 really revived Pokemon for me. And then Generation 5 killed it again. Um, <laughs> but I should have waited until Black 2 and White 2 came out, because Black 2 and White 2 um, really helped Pokemon and I have had a rocky relationship. But anyway, um, uh, magenta, yellow, cyan, it's really, the Mesprit is pink and Azelf is um, blue, but I was like, wait a second, cyan, yellow, and magenta look a lot like those colors of the Lake Trio. And so I looked at their colors and which uh, aspects they, which virtues they represented. And, um, Yuxi is wisdom, no, uh, knowledge, Mesprit is emotion, and Azelf is willpower. And I'm like, that fits perfectly with these colors that I just sort of randomly made up for the, um, the lowly and Triforce pieces. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do that, because the, the serendipity is just too good. Um... And I like bridging to another uh, canon. I like bridging... Not only am I bridging uh, Elder Scrolls and Zelda, I'm bridging Elder Scrolls, Zelda, and Pokemon. Which is just weird. But I like that. So that's why I made the uh, Lowly and Triforce um, pieces. Emotion, Willpower, and Knowledge. And you can argue that the three... Yuga, you can argue, is willpower. Hilda, you can argue, is knowledge. Um, and the other guy, you can argue, is emotion. Be just because of how they behave in A Link Between Worlds. Um, I don't have any plans to have a Relics of Hyrule canon for a goddess named, like, Lolia. Because I figure... Um, Nehru, Din, Feror, I think it's safe to say that they and Hylia sort of watched over Low Rule as well. Or maybe they just forgot about Low Rule. That's entirely possible. No. It's more likely that Hylia forgot about Low Rule because um, I don't really want to imply that there's a, a Low Lia. Um, that seems a little much for me. Anyway, I've rambled long enough about inspiration and all that. So this was the Triforce Peace video. Thank you for watching. I will see you later.